Oh, sh something's up there. No way. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You tell me. What the f was that? Whoa, door just moved. It's gonna be a long night, but I haven't been in this house in a while, so we're gonna see what it holds for me tonight. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a scary night, being here all by myself, so that's what's so hard is trying to carry all this stuff around, so. Okay, it is very dark already. Well, it's really warm in this room here. Okay. I think I'm going to turn the lights on just for a minute. So, until I get the cameras down here. Alright, so, it is complete darkness. I'll tell you what, there, it was like a, feels like a cold little breeze coming out of this crawl space. And... It just does not feel good. I'm down in the basement here at the Moreau house. I'm gonna uh, use this old uh, voice recorder tape box. And I'm gonna set it inside the hole. And then we'll go back and listen and see if um, we get anything. Okay, we are recording. If there's anybody down here, can you give me a sign? Earlier while I was upstairs, I heard it's Gary come down here and I heard footsteps. Was that you? My brother Josh was here last night. Did you talk to him? Whose bones did they find down here? I just heard a woman. Ivana, are you down here? Sorry what happened to you. I'm going to be here all night, but it's only in one condition. You're not allowed to hurt me, okay? Whoever's here. What the heck was that? Hopefully that's, you know, picking it up, so. I'll tell you what, being here by yourself, it's spooky. Are you trying to figure out who I am? Now, once again, you can talk to me and knock on stuff or whatever you want. Oh, sh Something's up there. You want oh, sh Something's up there. Holy crap. That was f***ing loud. I'm telling you, it's like, because it's still daylight outside right now. But down this basement, is so freaking dark. And now I'm hearing stuff upstairs. You cannot touch me. I don't want anybody touching me tonight. 
So you cannot hurt me or do anything to me physically, okay? Something just answered me. I hope it would count that. Okay, I'm starting to feel uneasy right now, so I got a long night ahead of me investigating, so I don't want to push my luck. And like I said, I'm already hearing stuff, but it's upstairs. The faint voices sounds like it's coming from this hole. So we'll go upstairs, check the voice corner, see if we picked up anything. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta turn my light on because I don't remember why I set this. drop anything but if I need to take off running it's getting dropped yeah and I'm definitely shutting this basement door all right I'll tell you what holy shit, that was freaking spooky Yeah, that basement, I'll tell you what. It has no joke. There's anybody down here to give me a sign? Earlier, when I was upstairs, I heard it was scary to come down here and I heard footsteps. Is that you? Yeah, it's you. What the heck was that? Hold on, I gotta rewind that. Yeah, I definitely have to go back and listen to this. Because you can definitely hear a faint voice coming through here. Something definitely got hit. I think it's definitely letting me know that it's here with me. Just turn a movement. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy night. Wish me luck, guys. So I'm putting this camera to uh, turn it on. Just heard a noise from the other side of that door. Uh, I need to go upstairs. Okay, let's do this. It's so dark in here. I'm just so freaking scared right now. I'm out of breath and everything. Okay, so the baby monitor is on right now. Just heard something walking, I think it was. I think I am going to go back downstairs because I think um, I want to grab uh, another alarm to set in there. Getting told from different black people that we shouldn't do this alone. So now I got an alarm on that door. So if it freaking shots or something, that's what we're going to hear. Holy crap, something's in there already. That was the piccolo. Hello? Are you checking out the equipment already? Yeah, these uh, cameras and stuff are acting really funny. It's like a vibration in your feet. It's crazy when you're in this house. A long time ago, we heard you through this thing. Can you say something to me? There's knocking up there. Something's walking up there. It's 
never good about going up there when you hear something walking. What the fuck was that? Sound like some ammoning. Do you need help? I hear you upstairs. Well, I'd like to hear you talk. Did you die here? It's like something was just tapping on the monitor. Yeah, that thing you just tapped on, you can talk through it. I'm getting like them cold chills through my body right now. No way. Right after it tapped on that. Voice. It's in the kitchen upstairs. Holy I gotta go up there. Oh yeah, that freaking thing is going nuts right now. No way. <gasps> you know, oh, dude, that, no, that's not. That's the freaking, um, alarm where the, um, baby dolls are. Who's up here? I just got one hell of a different feeling coming up here. Freaking like losing my balance. Holy That thing hasn't went off and now it's like fucking going ballistic. Okay, you like that alarm? Okay, we're going We're gonna freaking test this. Oh no, walking back and forth scaring the shit out of me. What's up? Uh, okay, here's another alarm for you. Let's we'll see if you like going up to that one. Can you tell me if Larry Hall ever was here at this house? Oh, no way. That was the freaking piccolo. So I mentioned Larry Hall and the piccolo goes off. Cause seriously, I'm getting scared. I'll tell you what, this place is no joke. Because it is only 7 o'clock. This is a total different feeling knowing Rocky and Josh ate right outside in the car, so whenever I yell for them or something, they can come in here. Now I gotta call them, and it's gonna take them at least a, probably almost an hour to get here. Okay, so right now Rocky and I are at the Randolph County Asylum, get ready to start our investigation. The longer I'm in here, it's like the longer I don't have no energy. Compared to when I first got here, now I feel like I'm about freaking drained already. I don't know if it's ever a good thing to do to be alone like this when you don't have the energy to stand your ground if you need to. So honestly, I don't think this is the place to chase something if you hear something. I got a device here. Kitchen. Are you out in the kitchen? Whoa. Was that you? I heard something. What the f was that? That was freaking loud. Can you tell me what your name is? Oh, if you're out in the kitchen, come in here. I just want to know what your name is. 
Can you come up here right beside me? Where? Right here. Right here where my hand is. Can you come over here? And play music through this? Are you by yourself in here? I like you. Oh, that's cool. I like you too. That makes me feel better. Caution. Are you telling me I should stay out of the basement? Can you say my name? I'm hoping since whatever's in here likes me, I hope. That is just trying to tell me to maybe stay out of the crawl space or something. Which I'll tell you what, when I was down there earlier, it was very, very spooky. You definitely get a different feeling down there and upstairs. You may not even trust me yet, but I'm telling you, I'm not here to harm you or anything. Just wanted to talk to you and see who's actually in here. Do you ever talk to Addie? What is happening? Oh, crap. Whoa! Door just moved. Did you just move something? I know. Well, that's why I was just clarifying. What door did you move? Whoa. Holy shit, that was loud. Tell you what, these freaking batteries are getting drained fast. I just think there's so much energy in this place. It's like it's everywhere except for hell. hell. What about hell? Are you ever gonna tell me your name? Am I gonna be safe if I go when I go back upstairs again? I hear you. Can you tell me? What the f was that? Whoa! Something just happened over at that table. I don't even want to move right now. Holy shit, that was loud. Did you just move something on that table though? Kayla. Kayla. I don't know who Kayla is. Probably need to go upstairs and check. No way. That's what I'm talking about. I'll freaking leave the room and then that goes off. Okay, I'm just gonna let it be. I got a camera on it, so. All right, I keep hearing noises up here. I figured I'd come up here and sat. <gasps> Freaking music box. <gasps> oh, sh I don't know if that was a box that just freaking moved. It kind of sounded like wood. I know you guys are all probably freaking watching this right now and saying, well, go, Sean, go in there. Stop recording. No, I can't. I'm doing it so I can talk to you. I just heard walking. Did you like that music box in there that I set up? I got another alarm right here beside me. If you go up to it, it'll go off too.
I got alarms throughout the house, so. And don't forget that thing downstairs that you like to mess with. Here soon, I'm gonna probably go and eat. Is that okay? Follow you. No freaking way. You gonna watch me eat? Now, if this thing came across and told me what I was eating, I don't know if I'd probably stay here anymore. I probably would leave. Play with me. Play with me. And I, I moved them blocks in there and it, I wonder if it wants me in that room. Set that music box off again and I'll come in there. I want to. Music box. Hey, okay. All right, going in. Okay, I'm coming out. I'm sorry for cussing. Guess what? It asked me, I asked it. I'm telling you, I just hope and pray it's nothing evil. You like that music box? I'm afraid, I'm so scared. Let's to look to see if the blocks are still there. I'm not sure what you wanted to play. Sean. It just said my freaking name. Hi. You guys don't understand how scared I am. What did you want to play? Can you tell me? How long you been in here, this house? Whoa, shit. what? I'm not sure if I'm talking to a kid right now or not. Can you tell me how old you are? Have you been following me around since I've been here today? Can you knock them blocks over? Look. How many? Well, I just moved one. Can you hear it? You want me to set it back up? Move it. Okay, I will. You know, when I was here, back in the day... Fire. Fire? Was there a fire? When we was here before, I had talked to something that was really intelligent. And it led me to a certain area. Piccolo, I, Piccolo just went off again. Is that what you wanted me to hear? Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs, okay? Oh, I just freaking had a nice conversation with something freaking super intelligent, I'll tell you that much. I cannot believe it said my freaking name, but something's definitely up there in the doll room. And what's bad is I was not focusing on that room tonight for some reason. I was wanting to focus on other areas. And then now it's like pulling me back into that room. I don't feel like very strong right now, so I'm not pushing myself. Instead of using ghost tube or anything, I want to try this and see if it picks up on any of the same stuff that I've gotten upstairs. And I'm right here by a nice warm cozy fire. And you know what? I didn't even think about that. Earlier while I was upstairs, I got fire. Is anybody in here like talk to me? My name's Sean. 
The person upstairs I was talking to already knew that. Would you like to come and say anything to me? It makes you wonder though, I mean, if what, whoever's upstairs, if they just don't come down here. You don't like this room? Do you want me to move to a different room? Ethan. Who's Ethan? I hope I don't start like talking about other cases we did. Do you know we go help families? Oh man, I can't even talk. Are you scared? Yeah. I've been scared ever since I got here. There it goes again. That's out there in the main room. Living room. No way. Just said living room and the um, alarm just went off in there. Bathroom. Whoa! God. Who was that? Holy crap. What the heck was that? That says God. They would ask me if I was scared. Yeah, I'm definitely scared. Shit like that happens and you're in here by your freaking self. Definitely scary. Yeah, I heard you. Why are you talking about God? Where'd you go? Oh! Something just freaking touched me. Holy sh Come on. Pull together, Sean. Yeah, we was freaking warned not to do this crap, and then Josh talks me into doing it. And yeah, I'm getting that lighter. Once you get that and then touched, I'm not. I'll go in here and set and. Holy sh I don't know what the hell that was, and then something grabbed my freaking leg. Yeah. My thing is, I just don't know if you want to hurt me or not. Upstairs, I didn't feel so much like anything wanted to hurt me. Down here, I do. Which, nothing that bad has happened all the whole time I've been here. But that's enough to get you out of this freaking house. Because I definitely don't do not feel like I'm wanted here anymore. And my biggest thing is I don't want to get hurt. I don't know what the In hell. In front of you. Well, there's an alarm. If you're in front of me, set it off. What the? What's that? This freaking, these cameras had to just pick up that. There was a freaking voice. Shovel. Do I need to dig somewhere? Did they miss something when they dug before? Holy Dig. Dig. Where? You said shovel, you said dig. Now where? Where should we dig? Come on, you gotta tell me. If any of you that need to dig somewhere else, tell me where. Positive. Okay, but I need to know where. Are you talking about digging in the basement again? I'm telling you, I just don't understand how freaking scared plus I am right now. Holy crap. Sean. 
Holy. The second time this thing has said my name. Can I believe that? It's twice now. One. Strangled. Strangled. Who was? Was it Ivana? Was she strangled? They already dug up somebody. Are they supposed to uh, dig again? Is there another body on the property? I'm trying to be brave. How many people died here? And what's bad is, you know, I've been here so freaking long, so I've gotten so much stuff that I'm telling you, when whatever's here, when it wants to let you know it's here, it lets you freaking know. Holy shit, let you know. But what's bad is when this happens, it's just like I start not feeling very good. What do you mean? my head hurting and not feeling good because I'm thinking it's you causing it. Not likely. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely true. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man, this is freaking... Yeah, it's just something I definitely don't want to do all the time, I'll tell you that much. I don't think I'll be doing this again for a while. Curious. Come closer. I mean, where the heck's here? It's talking a shit ton, I'll tell you that much. It's coming. What's coming? It's not like you freaking came crawling up the dang wall. Ivana Freeman, are you here with me? What the heck is going on here? I just don't want to piss whatever's, whatever's in here. I don't want to piss it off. But I'm afraid I'll get a little gr angry or aggressive if I get too freaking scared. And I don't want to do that. I just don't know how in the heck I'm going to sleep here. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Can you hear it? You know, last time you did that, that wasn't good upstairs. Hey, go down the basement. Like, oh my gosh, it's so freaking scary down there. I Man, I was down there once. Ain't that good enough? I think Josh should live with that. Can you do something for me before I shut this off? Can you tell me where you want somebody to dig at? Okay, I'm going to shut this off then. If you don't want to tell me, then how are you going to talk to me? Can you tell me how old you are? Shovel. Please go. Shovel. That's twice. Something freaking happens again because I get these cold chills then. I swear I'm probably going to be freaking out of this place. Why do you keep saying shovel? You ever get it to where it gets so freaking quiet that it's... You're just like... Thinking what the hell's going to happen. out there. I hear you. That moved to like a freaking door handle or something like that. Are you trying to open a door? I don't know what the hell. I have to walk out there. Okay. What's killing me is this freaking thing here has not went off not one freaking time the next thing I know I just heard footsteps on the steps and I over here 
Oh yeah, alarm and everything set up in the freaking hallway here. And something's setting that alarm off. And I mean, it's just like, it does not take long for it to start happening here. I think what I'm going to do is get ready to make my dinner and just kind of calm down a minute. I mean, it is almost 10 o'clock and I have an 8, so. Running a special piece of equipment, which is just on the other side of this hallway, the Jacob's Ladder. Anybody in here with us? My name is Josh. This is Rocky. Do you want to come out and talk to us? We've been here before and talked to you. Were you a patient here? Or if you worked inside this infirmary? We've been here before and we've talked to you. I got an alarm sitting right down there. We know that you like setting alarms off here. We know that you like setting alarms off here. We're here tonight to find out more about your building, your time here. Can you tell me your name, please? Let's go down by that Jacob's Ladder and see. What toy's going off? Do these toys even have batteries in them? I heard a toy going off, didn't you? They have batteries in them? Carousel. Where are you buying the carousel? It's got batteries in it? No. Wind up. Oh. No, that wasn't that one. Can you set the carousel off again? If there's anyone in this room that can see or hear us, We want you to come forward and talk to us, please. We are just here to find out more about your building, your time here. We are just here to find out more about your building, your time here. Okay, we're gonna do an EMF sweep. Right now we've got a constant 51.5 degrees. It's crazy how freaking dark it is in here. This is the hallway, it's always it gives me the courage. Hello, is anybody in here with us? Are you upstairs right now? Who is that? Sound like a female, but I couldn't actually tell. Who is that? I heard it. It was loud. What is your name? Were one of these your rooms? Oh, so there was a female in this room? Yes. It was the nursery. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Lulu, are you in this room? Did you take care of kids inside this room? Yeah, we heard a female come out here twice.
literally I'm going to set this recorder right here on this bed. We've heard you twice, so you're trying to communicate with us. There's something. I know you're afraid of men, Lulu, but I'll vouch for these guys. Did you like living here? I know you're afraid of men, Lulu, but I'll vouch for these guys. Did you like living here? How's your babies? Lulu, you can come with us. I don't think you have to stay in this room. You can show us around your beautiful building. Can we hear you again, please? That's a creepy thing, walking by all these rooms. You're just waiting for something to jump out. Who did we hear walking out here? You just hear that? Who was it? The female that we keep hearing. Can you walk past my alarm for me? Are you following Rocky? You guys are probably used to Dan being here. Do you like Dan? I'm lost. Can somebody come help me find the way out of here? Somebody show our guests the way? Okay, so right now we're going to head down to the basement. On a scale of 1 to 10, this basement's like a 10, is in creepy. And really, some of our best evidence we've caught here has came from this basement. And to me, the basement's just got like a completely different energy. Dan, do you feel like this basement's got a different energy? I don't feel that stuff. Yeah. And back here's where Rocky saw that girl. Whoever we just heard that made that loud banging sound, can you talk to us, please? Who is down in this basement with us right now? I know there's something. To... That was the door. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know there's something down here. We've heard you before. Who is the male presence down in this basement? Can you speak loud for me? Where is that freezer with the mannequin? Hello? If you're down there, hit something for me. What is that? You like having people here? Ooh, that was loud. You know what that was, Dan? Can you come closer to me, please? We can have a conversation. Do you not like having three men down here? We were talking to Lulu upstairs. She said that she likes us better than you. 
Does that upset you? Yeah, I definitely feel like down here you definitely get like a more dominant male presence. I know in this room here we caught some really good stuff last time. Do you like having people come in here and try to talk to you? All of our equipment upstairs is probably going off like freaking crazy. Lulu's probably over there like beep 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 beep. Ha uh ha, -huh. you're down the basement. Let's go grab my phone. We'll check on Sean real quick. Because I know he wanted to go live. There's a bang back here somewhere. Are you in here with us? You can come out and talk to us. You can touch us if you'd like. That way we know you're here. We keep hearing you. It's okay. You're allowed to come out of your rooms. Intermingle. Talk to us. That's how they ran their day. Breakfast, lunch, supper, bedtime, get up. They ran the whole day with those buzzers. And when they tried to take them away, morale went down. So they brought the buzzer back. Oh, there's Lulu's room above us. Yeah. Can I set this in her room? Sure. I want to use this later. I want to grab that alarm. Lulu, I'll be back up in a little bit to talk to you, okay? You're the first person I've heard in here tonight, if that was you. Do you know any, how she died or anything? I think somebody raped and killed her. That's not good. Sorry what happened to you, Lulu. It's weird how you'll be walking and just get all of a sudden get like a huge spike. Yeah, I would say so far, far the second floor in the basement definitely got a different feeling to it. Who's the woman that I keep hearing? I don't know if it was like a woman singing or humming. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Did you guys enjoy Thanksgiving? Did your family come here and visit you on the holidays? Now, is there a reason why we would hear women more so on this floor versus the other floors? Is that something common here? No, I usually hear them on the women's side. Which is over there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this almost sounds like a woman like humming or singing. It was like she was like right here in front of us. Let's go check on Sean real quick. We'll grab that SB7. He's probably been texting help for... <laughs> What the f was that? Holy f that was loud. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like it was right outside that door. Alrighty, well, it's been uh, one crazy night, but it's time for me to call it. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, laying back there in that bed but the uh, noises and everything that you freaking keep hearing out here just felt like it kept getting closer and closer so it was like okay i think it's just time to call it i'll tell you what it's been one heck of a roller coaster tonight doing this but at this point in time i think my body and mind just 
done. I don't think there's any way for me to try to actually sleep, and especially when you're in here by yourself. Because if it's going to grab you, you know, could it do something else? I don't know. And I don't want to take that chance of falling asleep and having something happen. You know, at least if you was here with somebody else, it wouldn't be so bad. But if something would attack me or something while I'm sleeping, I'm screwed. And I definitely don't want that to happen tonight. Like I said, it's definitely, I think, time for me to call it. I, I'm drained. I really have nothing left. How far do you want to push it to where you could, you know, have something attached to you or hurt you or something? And I don't want to take that chance. So, Team Nightmare, out. Okay, so right now I'm going to head back up to the second floor where we heard the female go back to Lulu's room. Cause that was like the loudest thing we've heard here so far tonight. This place is so freaking dark and creepy as hell. So apparently some bad stuff happened to Lulu, but twice we heard her voice. It is so freaking dark up here. Hello? Dude, it looked like a kid. I am up here by myself in the dark, so I apologize for being a little scared. I don't know if that was just my freaking screen. The room with the kids' toys is down this way too. Can I see you again, please? You know, I think last night at the Monroe house, you know, you're on edge all night. And it like shatters your nerves. And then the, immediately the next night comes to this big asylum. Okay, I'm gonna try to walk down this hallway. Creepy thing is there's all these rooms. I'm afraid to look in the rooms and see. Hey! Who is that? Shit. 